When a young girl reaches puberty, she undergoes numerous physical changes, including breast growth, a good sign of maturity and development in life. However, increase in the size of female breast than usual may be a sign of not only maturity but gigantomastia, a condition that often occurs during puberty and pregnancy. It affects ladies of all ages, really. It started at 15. In Machakos County, we meet Jamila Masood, who is well aware of this particular illness, having fallen ill, lived with, and suffered psychological torture for about 20 years. With me, it started very early, yet I didn't know what it was. Uh, coming back from uh, a very humble background, and then it was so religious one, I didn't know what actually was happening to me. With little knowledge of her condition, she joined high school at the age of 15. It is in that environment that she realized her physical change was not for the better. It's a hall like, so people shower there, go that whole place. So as I was passing through the hall, I could see everybody's bust, you know, every, every, everyone's body. But I noticed I was different. Different how? Because my bust was much bigger than them. In her quest for information on gigantomastia, Jamila learned two things. One, it is a condition that can be corrected through surgery. Second, the surgery is quite capital draining, contrary to the economic situation back at home. As we went home for the term close, uh, I went and talked to my mom. I told her everything. But her, coming from a very reserved background, she was like, no, 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 no. I think maybe you're bewitched. How come I don't have? Nobody in our family has it. How? You know? So I just kept quiet and... Jamila went ahead to complete her high school studies as well as her course at the university. I had worn it to be part of me. But... This was the beginning of the gigantomastia reign in Jamila's body. Trouble came when I gave birth to my second girl. So when I gave birth to my second girl, actually when I was pregnant, she so started, started having some symptoms, but I didn't know. I thought it was pregnancy related, so I could have like, uh, all the time I couldn't breathe properly, I could feel like I'm suffocated, you know. Jamila's life was then filled with ridicule and painful questions from the community. It was around October last year, but one, and uh, one of my aunts were like, okay, <laughs> okay, you look smart, but uh, this, uh, you know, this luggage here, where did it come from? And then Anna shouts me, Lawato. Ilin put down Kiasi. Psychologically you're affected. Can't get the right dresses, you can't get the right bras, you can't get the right tops and stuff like that. Dr. Ken Aluora, a plastic, reconstructive, and aesthetic surgeon, explains that gigantomastia is one of the most common and known illness among women. The true uh, enlargement of breasts has been said to start when now. You, uh, get now your secondary developmental uh, characteristics that's when now you start your menses but most people would start complaining of weight if you can remove from the breast around half a kg using pictures of one of the beneficiaries of breast surgery dr ken states that breast weight significantly affects the spinal cord and eventually the individual's posture a condition that could be permanent if not treated. These are not normal marks because you can see a, a depression. These have been caused by um, the, the bra straps because the bra is supporting this weight, so it's essentially the shoulder supporting the weight. And now it's notching because it's just a strap, it's notching. And then if you look keenly, if I put this, um, this like that, uh, you can see one side of the body is a bit, the posture is, is not the normal posture for everyone. If you can see on this area, this is the umbilicus, yeah? So imagine the breast is reaching the level of the umbilicus. Despite the correction after surgery, Dr. Ken points out that the cost is not just capital, but could involve letting go of some normalities in life. 
after this surgery because we are removing part of the gland which produces milk. Yeah? So essentially it will reduce milk production and in other people they will not be able to breastfeed. The nipple sensation also, uh, uh, fortunately most, uh, most patients actually get back their normal nipple sensation. Um, some will uh, lose. Those who undergo the surgery, however, are always left with a smile, bearing the burden of grief and ridicule from family and friends. Once again, Jamila knows this too well. Like the next day you're going to see the patient after surgery. They say, ah, now I can walk. Imagine, I've never walked uh, without back pain the whole of my life. This is me now, the new me, Neza breathe. Probably, you know, I can do anything. Waking up with good health is an outright reason for one to feel healthy. But there is quite a lot about looking healthy that you might actually confuse for being healthy. And at the very end, this turns out to be quite the opposite. Ben Kirera K24, Machakos County.